when I'm looking at the body, I'm looking at that interface of how the spine, the nerve system, and the energy system, which also includes the fascial system, the connective tissue. Mm. So what's also interesting is, you know, we're, we're biased on this planet as humans. You know, we think we're the best. And again, going back to like, if humans are always saying we're the best. And like, if you have to say it, are you really? Like, you know who's not mm. saying it? Dolphins. And guess what? They're not saying it, and the research shows that they have much bigger brains than us. They have much more complicated social structures than we do. They 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 ex express in ways that we can't. Um, and they're also now finding that dolphins, when they send their little ee like signal, they're literally throwing out a 3D picture that can go through water like for hundreds of miles and another dolphin pod can literally, so that a dolphin could see a human basically scan a signal out that shows a picture of the face of the human. So a pod a hundred miles away knows exactly what human looks like in the water. Like that's how complex they are. And we're like, let me just look it up on Google, you know, it, yeah. cause we're the best cause we have the most technology. It's like, so this is where I go is outer technology and this is really, you know, I mean, if I wanted to talk on a piece tonight, it, it would be this. It's like, sure. is, is the inner technology that we have as human beings, our human body, is it being explored and connected with, hmm. with the same level of focus, intention, intimacy, and devotion as we do to our outer technology, our phones, mm -hmm. our computers, all the things, right? And in my opinion, no, we're not moving fast enough with our inner technology to match the pace at which outer technology is accelerating. I'm not against outer technology. I mean that you and I can look at each other from across the country, stare at our beautiful you know, faces and instruments behind us. Hmm. That's badass. I love that, right? Because we're, we're not dolphins. We don't have that capacity. But I say different. I say we do have that capacity. We're just spending more time because it's easier pop open the computer. So what I'm interested in, in is supporting people to explore their bodies, their nerve systems, their energy bodies in such a way where instinct, intuition, inspiration, insight uh, becomes equal to thought, becomes equal to cognition. Because right now, most people are utilizing mostly cognitions to drive their life, which is thought. But they're not very instinctual, nor are they very intuitive, nor are they very insightful or, or inspired. And that is essentially because all of our focus is basically separated, disconnected from our bodies. And therefore, we're putting the proverbial cart in front of the mm -hmm. horse, which is technology outer over mm -hmm. technology inner being body. Mm -hmm. So we're hitting on the central premise, right? The central, you know, we're getting to the, to the, the deep, rich sort of um, differentiated um, insights here. What would you say then is the reason for that? Are you listed four eyes? I don't know if I could call them off the top of my head. It was like inst mm. uh, instinctual, um, right. intuitive, insightful, and mm -hmm. inspiration. inspiration or yeah. mm -hmm. So there's mm -hmm. like, you know, um, I'm sure, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but for these four eyes, it's this, why aren't human beings consistently having revelations of, of yeah. intuition? Why aren't they having well, inspiration? And when you say disconnected, what's disconnecting them? What's getting in the way? Yeah, well, it's it's a split that's happened. It's a split that's been talked about. Um, indigenous peoples have known this for years. They have mm -hmm. stories that speak of it. There's a particular story called the, uh, and I have a book coming out. This is in the book. Um, but it's a story called the The Condor and the Eagle, which is basically there are these two different ways of being. The condor is the more feminine, it's the more indigenous, it's the more mm -hmm. intuitive. Um, and the eagle, funny enough, um, and of course this was before, the story was told before the advent of the United States uh, with the eagle mm -hmm. representing it, which I think is very telling. Um, but the eagle is the more masculine, it's the more um, physical in nature. Um, instead of emotional, intuitive, uh, uh, excuse me, not physical, more, more mental. It's more mm -hmm. mental. Um, and it's more technological. So 
there's this split. And in the story, it says at one point they would be warring at an, another point in time, which many indigenous cultures now speak to. Now is that time that they would fly together and mate, that there would be a unification of the indigenous ways of being on the planet and the modern ways. And so that is the split. That's the disconnection. Um, we have grown and advanced in many areas, not connected to other areas. So we've grown intellectually, we've grown uh, technologically, but we have, we're not emotionally, nor are we connected to our bodies enough to support the level of intellect that we have. And so, you know, Einstein said, you know, something to the effect of like, it's, it's appallingly, um, um, obvious that our, 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 our technology has exceeded essentially our compassion or our humanity. And he was referring to that. He made that quote, you know, and I, I kind of butchered it a bit, but he made that quote with reference to the advent of the atomic bomb. Yeah. You know, he, he's basically saying like, look, you know, great that we have the mathematics, the physics, the science to create this, but are we really grown up enough to handle something like this? Like, is this a good idea for us to continue? Is that, to is that a hypothetical question? <laughs> right. Uh, you know, right. Like, we, yeah. you know and, and, and same is true. You know, here we are now and we have the advent of AI. We have the advent of sure. uh, robotics. We have all this stuff. And there are many people who are very concerned about these things. Mm -hmm. I'm not against them. I'm just saying, are we grown up to use this? You know, it's like handing a gun to a, you know, a loaded gun to a five-year-old. It's mm -hmm. like, like, I'm not against guns, but I'm just saying, don't mm -hmm. hand it to a five-year-old. And yeah. so we're at this point where how do we close that gap? And this is really what I'm up to, what myself and Chelsea Ray, my wife, um, are up to is basically um, taking this indigenous wisdom, um, bringing it with the lens of modernity. So it, it's like mm -hmm. we're not saying get rid of modernity we, we're not saying get rid of the modern ways we can't stop that that train is like well on its way going fast mm -hmm. so, but what we can do is while we're on the train going fast is we can have some conversations that say like hey there are some forks up in the road here and we have time we have time to make decisions whether we go right straight or left here and we can be cognizant of where each track takes us and so to me, the wisdom of the indigenous people, of people who have lived closer and more connected to the earth um, is really what's necessary um, in order to answer the question. Um, and I see that their wisdom and what we've been working with is essentially that there is this technology through the elements that is in support of our inner body technology coming online uh, in such a way where the capacity to be very connected to your physical body and your sensation, to not have to live a life based upon tr pain and discomfort mm -hmm. driving your decisions, which is where many people are at. You know, mm -hmm. many people on this planet right now are on some level of pain, whether it's physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. Mm -hmm. um, and... In, in our opinion, is because they have, we have lost our way relative to that connection to the earth, to water, to fire, to mm -hmm. mineral, to air, to nature, of which the indigenous say like, hey, look, these are our ancestors. These are, these are the ingredients of creation in this reality. Um, we can translate to that very easily to physics. Um, and so there is this, clear read as far as I can see that what the ancients knew now, how they knew that that's a whole different story. Uh, but what they knew um, is here to inform this very important fork in the road that we're at with humanity. Mm.